day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an idea for another Code Blocks lesson. Today, we're going to make something to 3D print, so let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends, so if you wear a mask long enough, your ear starts to get tender, so people have created something called ear savers. I am going to show you how to make one in Code Blocks. First thing we need to do is click Code Blocks, create a new Code Blocks, and of course, choose New Design. When it launches, I'm gonna call it ears, and then I'm gonna also put my initials after it. So whenever you use code blocks, the first thing we do is create an object. The object we're gonna create first is a band. So rename that variable and put band as the name. Never duplicate these. I'm gonna show you how to duplicate later. I'm gonna tell you right now, always build these on their own. We're gonna create our band with some variables, and the first variable we're gonna use is width. This will be how far the band goes side to side. I'm gonna tell you that our first number we're gonna work with is 180. At that point, move to your shapes, grab the box, open the parameters, and we're gonna replace the width with that variable. The length that we're gonna use is 15, and I'm going to tell you to use a height of one. I'm also gonna put the edge steps at two and leave it at 10. If you hit play, this is the start of our band. You can see that stretches all the way across. We are gonna duplicate this part, immediately make it a hole, pull out the width, and change to the math, and change the width based on some numbers. So take that initial width, and we're just gonna subtract 10. When you grab this, make sure you always drop the left edge in the correct hole. We're gonna put it in the width hole, we're going to change this length to 6, we're going to keep 1 for the height, and we're going to put 0 for the edge here. So now we've got the band that goes all the way across our head, but I want it wider in the middle so it has more support. Duplicate, set this one down. We're going to pull out both of these math problems because we need to change them. And I want you to change this to width divided by and then put a 2. I want you to carry that up and put it on this side in the 20. And then we need to change this length to 25. We're gonna keep the one, and we're gonna keep the two for the edge steps. The math down here is a little more fancy, so make sure you're super careful. We are going to bring out two of these. On this side, we're gonna do width divided by and the two. Over here, we're gonna put a 10 and we're gonna make it minus. You need to take this and don't put this edge in, you need to put this edge in, that hole. So you can see that outline around width divided by two happens first, and then we're gonna subtract 10. So if you're doing the math with our little sample project, as I put this in this hole right here, what we did was 180 divided by two is 90, this is 90 as well, but we're gonna subtract 10. We need to change this length number to 12, keep the one in the zero, and connect those. And let's hit play and make sure it looks like we want. You can see we've got a rectangle with another rectangle around it and the two holes that are gonna get cut. To cut them, we need to move to modify, and we need to create a group. And then because they draw below zero, we need to move them up as well. Remember, it's one millimeter in height, so we're gonna move it up half a millimeter. When you hit play, now you will have a cutout headband, and we just need to create the little hooks that your mask would attach to. I'm going to right click and collapse the blocks. That gives me more room to work. Let's create the next object, rename it, and this one we're gonna call hook. The hook is going to be made with a box again. Open up its parameters. I'll move it a little over so we can see it better. And the numbers we're going to use are 4, 25, and 1. Let's move this up the 0.5 right now by hitting modify and move and move Z.5. On the end of these little hooks, we need some cylinders. Let's bring them out. Once again, open the parameters, and we're gonna replace these with three. One, and I want 64 sides so it's more rounded. 
and we'll leave these alone. Once again, we're going to bring out a move. Let's grab that. And this one, we need to move into position. We're going to do an X of 1, and we're going to do 13. And we're going to, of course, do the 0 0.5 to raise it up so that it's above. Duplicate that, and this one is going to be negative 13. Let's hit play to test it. You can see our band draws, and then here's our new part. That's going to be the little hook that we add. We just need to make it into a group. I like it when it has one color, so this time I'm going to click the group, and I'm going to say I want those to be black. I'm also going to change the speed so the rest of this happens instantly. Friends, this is where it gets fun. I'm going to right click and I'm going to collapse this as well so I've got these out of the way. Friends, this is where it gets cool. We need to create the last object and we're going to call this one Saver because this one will actually be the Ear Saver. Once again, we're going to use a little math and create a variable that we're going to call Gap because we need a gap between the little hooks. We'll start with that gap being zero, and we're going to add a copy of our band. Modify, add copy, move to your variables, and we're going to add a copy of that band. So now the band is in place. Now we need to add the hooks. We're going to do that with a sweet count with I. I'm going to tell you for our project, we're going to have four hooks. And once we've got that created, we are going to add a copy of the hook. Once again, drop the copy of an object in, find the variable hook, and place it in there. After we add it, we need to move it. So let's find that move command and drop it in. Now I'm going to move it out to this edge because the hook is aimed for that side, the way we built it. And once again, we're going to do a little math. Bring out your math item. And I'm going to tell you for our numbers we built, the best number is negative 88. But then we are going to add that gap. Grab this and drop it in the Xbox. And then you need to find the change item. And make sure you change that to the variable gap. So after it moves the first one, we want to change gap. And I found the best number for what I'm trying to build is 10. Friends, when we hit play, pop, 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 you have got four little ear savers on the end in almost an instant. To do the other side, friends, the first thing we do is reset gap to zero and then duplicate. Throw out the bonus gap. And now we're going to put them over here, but first we need to rotate them. Return to your modify and bring out a rotate and drop it right after the add a copy. We're going to rotate around Z. Double check that you did Z and then we're going to use 180 degrees. If we still did negative X, it would come over here. So we're going to go in the positive direction where these started out on this edge. These are going to start inside. So the number that we're going to use is 58. And I did the math and guess and check to find those. If you want to adjust those numbers, you can. But friends, if we hit play, you have now got an ear saver with these hooks on both sides evenly spread around the middle. The last bit of our code, of course, is to create a group. And then we also need to delete the original objects. When I bring this out, I like to duplicate it before I add the variables. And then I can delete the original band, and I can delete the original hook that was sitting here in the middle. Now when I hit play, you have got a 3D printable part just like that. All right, friends, so now you can use this and adjust it. And if you stay tuned, I will also make another video that shows you how instead of gaps, we could actually have your name in these so you'd always know which one was yours. This is a final version of how mine turned out. Uh, it's flexible, so it goes in the back of your head, and it keeps the band from actually touching your ears, which can be a real nice thing. If you've never exported before, friends, all you do is do export STL. I store all mine in a folder called 3D Modeling. If you're in my classroom, you will save yours to the STL folder. Make sure you label yours with your name and let me know if you're interested in having yours printed.
Once again, friends, make sure you stay tuned. I will be making another one of these where you can cut your name into it. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.